Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So for the addition of vectors, then we have this problem. So two forces A and B are acting on a particle. Then force A is 3 newton directed to north. Force B does 4 newton 30 degrees north of east. Then find the resultant force. So in a plane, this one is north south, the east, and the west. So for force A directed to north, so therefore this one is force A. Then for force B, 30 degrees north of east, so at the end of force A, so we have this one is north, this one is east, so for north of east, so this one is force B. Since north of east, so therefore from east going to north, so from east going to north and the angle is 30 degrees. And this is now the resultant force. So to find the resultant force using the cosine law, that's A squared plus b squared minus 2ab then times cosine theta so for this angle theta since this one is 30 degrees and we have this 90 degrees so therefore the whole angle is equal to 120 degrees so that's 90 degrees plus 30 degrees and this is now the angle theta. So find now the resultant force. So substitute now all the values. So for force A, that's 3 newton. And force B, that's 4 newtons. So we have now A squared, that's 3 squared, plus B squared, that's 4 squared, then minus 2 times 3, that's A, times B, that's 4, then cosine angle theta, that's 120 degrees. Then simplify, so we have now the square root. So this 3 squared plus 4 squared, so we have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals, that's 25, so we have 25. Then minus this 2 times 3 times 4 times cosine 120. So we have 2 times 3 times 4. Then times cosine 120 degrees equals that's negative 12. So minus negative 12. Then we have now the resultant force equals... 25 so this double negative becomes positive so positive 12 so force is equal to 25 plus 12 that's 37 so therefore the resultant force is equal to so for the square root of 37 that's 6.08 so the resultant force is 6.08 newtons. Then to find this angle, but first we need to look for this angle since this side is side B, so therefore this one is angle B. So using the sine law, that B over sine angle B, so the side over the opposite angle equals the F or the force over the opposite angle, that's 120, so sine 120 degrees. Then simplify, so B is 4, so we have 4 over sine angle B then equals the force 
that's 6.08 over sine 120 degrees. Then cross multiply. So we have 6.08 times sine angle B, then equals. So multiply. That's 4, then times sine 120 degrees. Then divide both sides by 6.08. Divide by 6.08 in cancel. So we have now sine angle B equals. So this 4 sine 120 degrees divide by 6.08. So we have 4 then sine 120 degrees. Then divide by 6.08 equals. So 0 0.5698. So, 0 0.5698. Then, to solve for angle B, that's equal to inverse sine, 0 0.5698. So, therefore, angle B is equal to, so for this inverse sine, so that's shift, then sine, that's inverse sine, then 0 0.5698 equals, that's 34.74 degrees. So angle B is 34.74 degrees. Then to solve for this angle, since angle B is 34.74 degrees, and this whole angle is 90 degrees so therefore 90 degrees minus angle B that's 34.74 degrees so this angle is equal to so 90 degrees minus 34.74 degrees equals that's 55.26 so this angle is 55.26 degrees and the direction from east to north. So therefore, that's north of east. So therefore, the final answer, that's 6.08 Newton, then 55 point twenty six degrees north of east.